What is going on guys? Uh, welcome back. Adam Smasher is now in the store. The Siege Tune for the current month of July and just like last month with graining goodness, we are going to purchase this 8k gem pack or this 8k 100 fragment pack for Adam Smasher. We're going to level him up. It only lets you go to rank 4. Four, so we won't really be able to see his passive at work, which is one of his good abilities. But uh, we're going to take a look at his animations. We're going to level him up. This is on my alt account, which is level 25. I don't do as well in Siege. So in on this account, on the low level account. So uh, buying these 8K gem, you know, 8K packs for 100 fragments on this account for testing purposes, for video purposes is okay typically though if you are somebody that is looking for a good deal or wants you know needs hero fragments i would never recommend buying these 8k 100 fragment siege tunes just because you could get uh so much better with a lot of other tunes and save more money you know one being i don't know superwoman i really like superwoman she performs the best in siege for me and more than any other tune and so she is 100 to 150 for 6k just seems like a better deal but if you really like adam smasher you know what get it and uh you know just like we're doing right now we're gonna get it and we get the legendary essence at the same time it's only a thousand but uh at least we'll get to unlock them and be able to play with them from now on until siege is over anyway and we can upgrade them to legendary so let's unlock them real quick we're gonna take a look at his abilities look at his kit look at his legendary powers i'm gonna give you my i don't know personal opinion whether or not i think he's a good tune i like his kit you know what we read in the blog post Adam Smasher. I'm standing up for what I believe in justice. Now, just reading his bio real quick. Uh, JSA Suicide Squad. Adam Smasher can alter the size and density of his body, increasing strength and resistance and smash his foes and survive great damage. He has some counterattack things in his kit, which uh, he can hit really hard. He really can. Albert Rothstein is Adam Smasher, previously known as Nuclon. He is the founding member of Infinity Inc. and an old member of the JSA. Albert was the grandson of the villain Cyclotron, from who he inherited his powers. In his youth, he was introduced to the JSA by his godfather, the hero Adam. With the alias Nuclon, he was the founder of Infinity Inc. and later a member of the JSA as Adam Smasher. He became friends with Black Adam when he joined the JSA, who manipulated Al to commit crimes. Locked in prison, Al was recruited for the Suicide Squad, later to be redeemed to the JSA. Okay, so uh, like I said, you know, with the hero fragments that we get from the um, from the pack, only 100. It's only enough to give up to rank four. So that's all we can do with, but let's level them up. All right, so we got them leveled up on this account. We only go to level six for the gear, level 25. We max out the abilities as much as we can. I don't have any green rings right now, so we're going to have to wait on that. But uh, anyways, let's go over the abilities. Look at the legendary powers. Give you my personal opinion. Let you uh, know, you know what I think is the best. Anyways, Colossal Punch. Damage to a single enemy and apply two agility down. Agility downs go up. Agility duration goes up. Legendary power. Purge two buffs from the enemy. Okay. Purging two buffs is always good. Tremors. Gain two empowered stamina ups. Apply hit chance down to all teammates and two hit chance down to all enemies. Apply hit chance down to all teammates and two hit chance downs to all enemies. That's interesting. Okay. Upgrade. Uh, gain five affinity resistant ups. He's a BV boy. I'm not going to lie. I've, you know, I've seen him in the challenges and stuff and uh, hitting him. He's a beefy boy, especially when he gets those affinity resistance ups. Uh, damage to all enemies apply 30%. Turn meter down and hit chance down. If enemies already have hit chance down, five turns are added to their duration. Wow. Okay. That's a lot. Deal 10% true damage, plus 10% if enemy has hit chance down. 
Okay, uh, throw her on my dub. What's with all these hit chance downs? Um, okay. Well, uh, I like the 30% turn meter and the hit chance downs is always cool. And then five turns added to that. That's crazy. I don't know how many hit chance downs it is though. 10% true damage and then plus 10%. So 20% true damage. That can be a lot. Okay, Atomic Dispersal. At the start of the battle, 52% chance to gain permanent empowered strength and permanent empowered stamina up. And that goes all the way up to 100%. So that's going to be uh, every time at the start of the battle. I don't like passive abilities where the whole passive ability is just at the start of the battle. I feel like maybe that should be the legendary and whatever this is, which... I can't believe they even gonna attempt for me to read that. Hold on real quick. Uh, you know what? I gotta take this thing out. And I gotta take my glasses off. This is crazy how small print this is. All right, at the start of his turn, if Adam Smasher has five empowered stamina ups, suffers 10% true damage, but gains permanent empowered strength and permanent empowered stamina. Man, that's too many words. I don't like that ability just because there's too much to it. You know what? I take that back. I don't like his kit. There's too many words in it. What is this? <laughs> Anyways, he gets lots of permanent strength ups, permanent, you know, stamina ups. Um, we did face him in challenges. He's a beefy boy. He can hit really hard. So that's kind of what Adam Smash is about. A little confusing with the hit chance up, hit chance downs though. All right, passive ability. When a teammate is hit, 75% chance to use Colossal Punch ignoring awareness if the teammate has hit chance down apply intelligent and agility down on the attacker that's his amazing that's absolutely an amazing passive uh that's his best ability for sure now according to dcl toolkit the legendary power on his fifth one is going to be 75 percent chance to gain permanent empowered stamina up and to apply 20 percent turn meter down on a random enemy after his attack after the after the counter attack so uh if it starts at 75 percent does it go to a hundred it sure does so it goes to a hundred percent you level this up to 100 percent so every time a teammate gets hit He's going to apply 20% turn meter down on a random enemy, uh, gain 75% chance to gain an empowered stamina up and 20% down after the attack. So that's a pretty good ability. Okay, so as far as that legendary order goes, as far as my personal opinion, I personally like five. Um, I don't know. I like that 75% chance to gain an empowered stamina up and the 20% turn meter down to a random enemy. He's going to be counterattacking every single time an enemy gets hit. Um, if the teammate has a hit chance down, though. Wait. If the teammate has a hit chance down, apply intelligent and agility down. So that's actually an extra bonus if they have a hit chance down. But when a teammate is hit with, he hits with the colossal punch, ignoring awareness every time. So uh, that would be my first one. I like five. Uh, I also like three or one, uh, the purge two buffs. So I'd go five, one. Um, I, I like three. Um, actually, you know what? Three could be good too. Cause the deal 10% true damage and plus 10% true damage if an enemy has a hit chance down that could be 20 percent true damage that's a lot of damage because the 10 percent true damage and the, the extra 10 percent that's an on an aoe so that's that's 20 percent true damage on the entire team which is a lot bro that's a lot i don't know i maybe five three one Maybe five, three, one would be uh, my order. I don't think two and four is really all that big a deal. Four is really confusing to me. If he has five empowered stamina ups, suffers 10% true damage, but gains empowered strength and stamina up. 
I don't know. That's a little bit confusing to me. Like, why you want to hurt yourself to gain, to grow yourself? That, I don't know. seems a little weird to me. So, four, two or four, to me, it really doesn't matter. As far as the order on DCL Toolkit, they say uh, three, five, one, two, four. Okay, so they kind of have the same idea that I had. I kind of like three, or I like five, three, one, maybe but i'd have to see how much damage that three actually does you know what i'm saying but it could be three five one or i kind of like five three one but either one probably works good all right let's look at these animations and uh see what they look like i mean they probably look pretty good rock burst damage to all enemies 30 percent turn meter down and hit chance downs if enemy already has hit chance downs five turns are added It's a big hit. And you know what? Did that only hit one single enemy? I thought his third ability actually hit all enemies. Did it not? Damage to all enemies. Damage to all enemies. Did I don't think that did damage to all enemies, did it? Look like it only did damage to one. All right, let's try a second ability. This is a buff. Okay, it looks like a little kid having a temper tantrum. That's fine. Got some affinity resistant ups. Doesn't hardly take any damage. Now, look at the other guy's health. This says damage to all enemies. Oh, wait. We didn't do that ability last time. I guess we only did his basic. Okay, that's my bad. That's my bad. Uh, he only did his basic last time. That's why. That's why. But he has an animation on all three of them. His basic, his special, and his ultimate ability, he does have an animation for. So uh, that's actually really cool. I, 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 I think that's the first tune that I've ever seen have an animation for all three abilities. I want to see his third ability again. I look like it slapped. That's pretty cool though. I like his first animation too. His little jump up, hitting the ground. It's pretty smooth. His third one. Picks up a rock, smashes it, and then throws it at him. That does pretty good damage. That definitely does pretty good damage. Okay, let's put this on auto now. But uh, anyways, let me know what you think about Adam Smasher. That is his kit. Uh, do I think he is good? Um, I can't honestly think of a situation in which I would use him besides for wanting to do a lot of damage. I feel like he is going to be a tune that once he gets juiced up and once he gets going, he's probably going to be able to hit really hard. Uh, he does have some good tools. His... Uh, retaliations are awesome every single time an enemy every single time your teammate gets hit retaliate with his basic if you have the legendary on his basic then uh, you'll be clearing buffs at the same time and absolutely destroying people with that so uh, I think it's actually could be good you know it's possible uh, he could have a place I can't necessarily see this is, you know, a place that I would put him in right now. I think he could go in with just about anybody. I, I like the idea of throwing him in with Dove because of all the hit chance downs, you know, like the Dove does. And the, um, I don't know. It just feels like that that would be a pretty good fit. Either way, though, let me know what you think about him in the comments below. And hopefully everybody has a good weekend. Y'all take it easy. I'll see y'all next time. We're out. Peace.